Hello, and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Sean Malone, an associate in the Commercial Credit Group at Standard & Poor's. And today, I'm with David Choi, a director in the Corporate and Government Group. Thanks for joining me, David. Thanks. David is also the lead analyst on Freescale Semiconductor, one of the top 35 positions in the CLL universe. And as of the end of the first quarter in 2015, it was held in over 300 of our rated CLOs. David, Freescale Semiconductor recently announced a merger with NXP Semiconductors, which happens to be the 108th most widely held credit in the CLO universe. Can you give us some details on the merger? Sure. The merger between Freescale and NXP was announced in early 2015 and would value the combined entity at about $45 billion. Uh, the transaction is expected to close by the end of this year and would create a company that's one of the market leaders in auto semiconductor and microcontroller products. In terms of funding, uh, NXP will fund the transaction with about a billion in cash. They'll raise about a billion in debt, but majority of the funding will come from stock issuance. Uh, Post-closing, Freescale shareholders will own about one-third of the combined company. Okay. So what steps are needed to complete the merger? The board of directors of both companies have approved the merger. Uh, shareholders of both companies still have to approve. The regulators still need to approve. And in the meantime, both companies have integration teams in place to work towards a closing by the end of this year and also the subsequent integration of both companies. So then what advantages will the merger provide the new entity? In terms of advantages for the combined company, scale is the biggest one. Um, the combined company is expected to have over $10 billion in revenue and more than $3 billion in EBITDA on a pro forma basis. Um, the, company, the combined company will have more diversification in terms of uh, geography and products. Um, the merger is also expected to generate about $200 million of cost savings. So leverage from a debt to EBITDA standpoint will start off at three and a half times at close with the cost savings and also the uh, management's commitment to debt reduction. We expect leverage to decline to about three times or below by the end of 2016 and two and a half times or below by the end of 2017. So following the merger of the new Freescale NXP, it could become a top 15 position in the CLO universe. When do you expect the Credit Watch placement to be resolved, and to what degree of upgrade do you anticipate? The transaction is expected to close by the end of the year, and we would expect to resolve the Credit Watch shortly before that. Um, most likely event is Freescale's corporate credit rating will be withdrawn. Uh, the surviving company or entity will be NXP. The current rating on NXP is double B plus, uh, which is on Credit Watch with, with positive implication, meaning that th it's likely or there's a potential for an upgrade within a year. And that's predicated on the company's improved business diversification, uh, improved scale, and most importantly, the successful integration of the two companies. David, thanks so much for your time. The information you provided is valuable not only to the investors, but also to the CLO managers. And thanks very much for watching Credit Matters TV.